Hey guys, welcome back to C University. I am here with my new friend, Paul McDonald. Uh, we just met today. Uh, Paul emailed me a few weeks ago wanting to work together. And the whole time I was thinking, gosh, I know, I know your name. Where, where do I know you from? And I realized that uh, my wife and I watched this, uh, was it last year? It was, it was a few years ago. Oh, was uh, it? Yeah. Season 10, I guess. Yeah, season 10 of American Idol, and uh, I don't really watch American Idol, but somehow we got hooked that season. And this guy was the only one I really enjoyed watching. I thought he <laughs> was you. super talented. <laughs> and the cool thing is Paul uh, does not have an entourage today, which is exciting for me, because my, my favorite thing to do is just to experiment and uh, create on the fly. That's what we're gonna do today. I think I'm gonna draw on some prints. So we've mounted a projector where I'm gonna literally project random textures and things behind Paul. There's been no post involved because I'm projecting the, the weird textures and stuff behind him as we go. So we're gonna check that out and see how it works and just play. play. Just hang out, yeah. So the lighting literally changes every time. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I crazy? So what I'm about to do, I've got my laptop plugged into my uh, G Technology 64 terabyte um, Studio XL and I've got thousands of textures in a, in a Lightroom catalog and so I'm literally, I'm going to have one hand on my shutter, one hand on my Lightroom catalog and I'm going to go click, 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 click between my hands and the, my right hand is going to be clicking through different backgrounds. So that's why it's the benefit of having this projector. And with each click, we're switching lighting groups. So literally every shot we're about to take is gonna be completely different. Uh, so each click will have a different backdrop and a different light lighting amp. So the results are uh, <laughs> kind of infinite of what we can do right now. Um, it's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty excited about this. So, uh, so yeah, here we go, let's, let's give this a shot. I've worked with a bunch of photographers over the years and uh, and nothing has quite hit like Jeremy's stuff. Uh, this is the first shoot that I came in and he had multiple ideas, multiple tricks, uh, visions, and uh, you know, some shoots you can, are, are outdoor, you find the spot and all this stuff. And I think that was what drew me to him in the first place is because he has his own style and own vibe. And, uh, and that's what I like about artists in general is uh, they have their own thing. and. Uh, and Jeremy Coward has his own thing happen and that no one else does. I came in here and was kind of like, uh, you should do what you do. Uh, we got to make some magic and just feeding off of that vibe. It was really cool. We turned on some Michael Jackson, did a little dance moves. Um, it was really cool stuff. To wrap, that was a, a, a quick shoot, but easily one of the most ridiculously fun <laughs> times I've ever had shooting. Uh, it's nice when you've got one person, and uh, 
You're a stud, dude. He looks great. He's got cool wardrobe, cool vibes, and even his dance moves were working. They were working for you. So what was awesome about today was uh, literally I've just never tried in that in that format. I've never tried where each time I hit the shutter, I was changing backgrounds. So it felt like a video game because I just had all these textures loaded on my hard drive. And so at one point I was holding down the shutter, just click, 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 and uh, scrolling through all the backdrops. And uh, every picture was different and the lighting was changing. So there were infinite possibilities. And with him changing and moving and looking different ways, because sometimes if this light hits him looking up, then it's perfect. But if it, but if it hits him looking down, then it's not a good image. But then the next image, a light would hit him from over here. And so it's, you're creating a recipe for anything to happen. And with Paul being such a good sport and moving so much, uh, gosh, it's just, it's, it's, it doesn't get any more fun than that. So I think with anything creative, whether you're a musician or an artist or a painter, you try to build tools in your toolkit. You try to add things that you can do. But I find that with each one of these shoots I do, I keep adding more of those ideas and those tricks and those tools together. And each time I add another layer, it becomes that much more fun and interesting. You guys got to see uh, the best of the best. This, <laughs> this is truly a blast. This is when I'm reminded that I do love my job, so. Yeah, well done.